Okay, so I'm currently on Capecraft, which is a server, and I'm trying to beat the game as fast as I can. It's currently not going well. No food, I have a shield, I uh, have some iron. Um, in, I'm underground, there's a cave. Uh, cherry biome. Okay, nobody's been here before. I should probably mark this down, I can build my base here. Probably get more wood because I like have none. What the fuck is going on outside my house? Some people screaming. Should probably close my window, but that would be like too smart, and I'm like too stupid to do that. Slash set home base. This is going to be where I build my base. I'm probably going to build like a nice little like village here. Like a cherry village. There's a sheep here. Okay, I have a little bit more food. Somehow I got lucky with the rabbit's foot. So, I guess that means I'm just going to get really lucky. Don't care. And I'm going to get a bunch of food and leather. So I can enchant later. And I'm probably going to get most of my armor from end cities which is probably so I'm gonna be getting gunpowder and stuff before I go and getting like a bunch of gunpowder and should cane my axe broke so I should probably make an iron one there we go I'm not gonna make an iron shovel because I never use my shovel my shovel I like never use it And I'm gonna maybe play on this server more than I did in season two. Now that season three has started, because in season two I just got stacked and then I just didn't really play. Should be sharing the sheep and then killing them because that gives you more wool when you share them. I'm probably going to keep going in this direction. This plains is honestly amazing. If you're ever looking for a place to have like an early mob farm, just get like a just find a massive like flat plains like this. Okay, it's in like oh that's a good cave. I'm gonna make some space. the hell is going on here okay don't mind me i'm minding my own business do not kill me that i think that rhymed i don't know i'll probably not check but if it did it's pretty cool that sounded like it was about to become like a song but it didn't because i can't make because i can't freestyle or do anything like that because like i have four brain cells we probably don't need uh Probably do don't you probably need more than four brain cells to do stuff like that. Which I do not have. Or maybe it's just I'm too stupid. I am stupid but I'm not dumb. So it's like it that sort of makes sense. But it doesn't. Just like everything I do, it makes sense, but it doesn't. It's like everything I do, it makes sense, but then you compare it against things that, that everybody knows makes sense, and then it's like, yeah, that definitely makes no sense. 
I don't know what I'm talking about, but like, sure. I'll keep talking about it because I have nothing else to talk about. But like, I won't keep talking about it because I just don't know anything else to talk about. And I don't know what to say about this topic, so. Oh, wow, cave sound. Scary. I am so scared. Cave sound. Cave sound, cave sound made, made me pee my panties. I'm probably just going to get this one and this one because these two are just perfect. One of them is just a nice pack with some survival changes. You can see down there Rainbow XP bar, numbered hot bar, transparent uh, inventory. I also have like a bunch of like, I have, like clear water. I also have an unobtrusive pack so that just means that it's going to be doing a bunch of like it's going to be doing a bunch of stuff like low fire, low shields. If you want, like, I'll link Flint's tweets in the description. You can customise packs, it's really easy. You just... I'm going to kill the glow squids because I want some glow ink. That'll be useful my base I guess. It's not a really useful item. So it's something I want to have. I could start a shop but I don't know what to do yet because I don't actually have stuff yet so I can't really start a shop. Because usually I have something to start a shop with because I already because I already had stuff before. Like now I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna wait for my iron. Drink. <clears throat> Should probably make another furnace, shouldn't I? That'll be smart. But I don't really have enough brain cells to be smart, so I don't know why I'm doing it. I can play with controller as well. Because I have this thing called um, Midnight Controls. It's a really nice mod. Let's use controller. Yep, but this is controller. This is a bit painful, as usual, but that's just the downside of having a controller. I actually like really like playing with controller, because like before I, I never really liked it, but like then I went to a different country. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Wow. I don't know what I'm going to do with my inventory because it's just completely full. Well, yeah, I haven't got my control set up on here, so I won't have... I'm going to make a brush just in case I find something. Brush is just one of the start, one of the items that you just gotta have. I should make a texture pack that makes cobwebs be like only half visible. It can be like translucent, so I can see past them. Okay, so I just got back from mining. I I mined for like way too long. I'm, I was I went mining for like an hour and city raiding. And carrots, these are amazing. Potatoes are better though. Just to make it clear. Uh, looting too. This is. I. I wish I had more iron. I wish I picked up iron because I just ignored it, not realizing that I had literally none. Piss off. 
I hate pillagers so much, they are literally the worst. They just follow you from 500 blocks away, and then they just are annoying as hell. They don't even, like, kill you. Get some more wood. So I don't have enough right now. More than 28 and I need the hot bar slot, so... Bye. I'm gonna make a diamond axe, cause... Why not? It's gonna be useful. What? Oh, what was that there? Okay, that's just not making sense to me. Oh my god, the stupid tree. Of course. What was my mistake is a tree, like a single log. What, like, not even a tree, not even a full tree, it's just one log. Can try wood light. I think it's raining. Yeah, it's raining, so it's probably not going to wood light. Imagine if it wood lights as soon as I get over there. Okay. Portal. I had to go brush my teeth because it's like early in the morning right now and I haven't done that yet. Thank you for your food. Probably going to be getting a lot more of it. You'll probably smelt some of my... Probably smelt my gold. Because I got some of that. Yeah, I should have no, like, coal. Gonna make some gold boots. Probably gonna throw these iron ones out. So yeah, because I because I want to try to get pearls, and I'm probably not getting many pearls from that. So I'm gonna be using. So uh, I'm probably gonna be getting soul speed and boots from this. I'm gonna get wood because it's going to be. Netherwood is like a really good building block in the nether because it's really easy to find. It's like everywhere. As long as you're in a crimson or warp forest, there's like, it's everywhere. You get one lock and that's four planks. They don't burn in lava. You can turn them into sticks, which can become fuel. It's really cool. It's like just really nice in general. We'll probably be using wood as la as fuel. Hello. So it's only going to be game audio for this part because uh, I don't know why, but my microphone wasn't recording audio. So that's not fun, is it? I might just do a little bit of commentary right after in the editing so 
I'm in the bastion. Get a really useless chest. Some crying obsidian and leather. That was useful, wasn't it? It really wasn't. But it's probably the worst chest I got. Because the other ones were not that bad. So I just placed lava. And this piglin dies. I'm just start killing all the piglins because I don't want them to attack me. After I steal all their stuff. Which makes sense because they'll probably attack me. And there's the hoglin. Just a few axe hits and a love bucket. That's all you need. So here I, I like basically die. So quickly gotta set home here. And then as soon as I die, I just go pack that home and it's like nice. No, that death was really sad and also they can't even kill this baby hoglin because it's keeping away from the lava because it's hard finding. It goes round. It's really annoying. Baby hoglins are honestly just the worst. Like, like big hoglins, you just place the lava bucket on them and they die and they give you free food. But like baby hoglins, they, they just like come in, they attack you, hit them once, and then they just run away. Five minutes later, they come back. It's so annoying. It's literally the worst. And here, this, like, piglin bridge is just really dumb. It's like, it wants to attack me, but it's, like, too far away. So I just crossbow it. I really didn't know that piglins are that stupid. Like, they didn't even notice me. Like, it's so weird. So we go grab this chest, get something very useful, never right upgrade, and a better pickaxe. So instead of throwing this one out, I just replace it with my crying obsidian. I don't like care about it. So just leave some food behind, because I have 19 mutton, right? And I'm thinking that that'll be enough. And because I'm like an idiot, I didn't build a base because. It takes me forever to like even build a small little chest. Like to even get a chest, it takes me forever. Did I even get? I didn't even take the diamond shovel. There was a diamond shovel in that chest. I have a stone one. I'm just an idiot, bro. Honestly, I'm just a complete idiot. I just don't pick up the diamond shovel. Wow. Okay, so it's been like a while now. I was looking in the nether. I don't know what I was looking for. I think I was looking for a fortress. This was like last week. Um, well, I found another bastion and I'm about to see all of their stuff as well. Just like the last one. This is what you have to do in every bastion. I jumped down here after like ages. Don't know what I was doing with that lava, but like I did something. Don't know what I'm doing here. It's like I'm waiting for something, I guess. Like maybe I'm waiting for the piglins and the piglin brute to get over here. That's probably what I was waiting for. So this piglin brute's kind of like dumb and he walks into the lava. Nice. That's not very smart. So I can finally get this chest. And it's not got too much red gold. Got some unbroken golden boots that I can use. Because I needed those. Because I like mine were almost broken. Okay, so somehow these piglins aren't mad that I stole their stuff. They're probably just like blind or something. Oh wait, no, this one's mad. So I'm going to use love to kill it. Because I'm sort of smart and I don't want the other ones to come after me. Okay, so I spam F3A because I'm trying to see where the chests are. So I see they're probably over there because of how many like piglins and piglin brutes there are. So after turning up here, I go through this weird like tunnel thing and then I go do a bit of parkour 
and then I have to spam three, and then I see that this is the place that I have to be. Hard to kill the bee, but I'm like kind of not s smart. So then I open this, I get the netherite scrap. It's the only netherite I'll have for a while. Uh, at the time of doing this edit, um, I already finished recording the third episode. And I don't even have, like, netherite yet. I haven't even gone to the end yet. It's crazy. Pause. What I'm about to do here is very stupid. I got rid of my looting 2 book, which is not something that I should have done because, uh, yeah, but in, I think it was episode 3, spoiler alert, I'm gonna need that. But, like, you know, it's fine. But no, I'm just gonna do another voiceover because it's it's like really boring the other part of the video obviously because like it's just like the parts that I cut out are literally just me playing and doing boring stuff just me getting like food and wool and feathers really boring stuff that makes sense but it's, it's like really boring to watch so I just like get a bunch of netherrack as I'm going up here because I want some more blocks and then there's a chest with five flint and steel, sixty iron nuggets, a golden apple, an enchanted golden chest plate, and a knockback two golden sword. Oh yeah, as well as a pressure plate and fly charge. <sighs> five flint and steel. It, it how is that even possible? Why would Minecraft ever add that to the loot table? Literally. Five flint and steel, sixty iron nuggets. Don't know. Seems a bit fake to me, but it actually is real because I'm too bothered. I'm I'm like too way too lazy to fake videos. Actually, uh, maybe I might be not.
So I just found a pillager outpost, right? And this is going to be very important because it's going to be the reason I build my base. Uh, yeah, it's it's really cool. So here I go into the chest and I like don't know what to take and what not to take. So I'm just like wondering what to do. So I'm just thinking about it. I'm about to take everything. I don't know why I'm in F1 right now. I'm just sitting there doing something. Uh, don't know what's happening right now. I'm just like sitting in F1 staring at this chest. I don't, I literally have no clue what I'm doing. I'm probably like doing something else at the moment. I just pressed F1 for some reason. Surprised no pillagers came in and just murdered me. Next one back. So I just don't know what to take. So I just put everything in a stack and I just don't know what to take. So I use that crossbow and this one isn't broken. So this one's less. This one's got more durability. So I'm going to use this one. So they're both seek. So I still don't know what I'm doing. Very random stuff. Nobody would understand because like... I don't even understand what I'm doing right now. So here, I'm going to do something smart. I set a home outpost. Set a home outpost. And then I go to my base, the place that I set home before. And it's really nice. It's like a nice cherry biome. You, prob you saw it at the start of the episode, or closer to the start. As I said, it's really nice. It's beautiful. So, I just make a chest here, and as you can see down in chat, it says place a sign on this chest to protect it, because this is one of those servers that it, that lets you like protect your chests and things by like placing a sign on it. You can do it with basically any container. You can just put a sign on it, and then it will like, and then nobody will be able to open it. It's really really cool. Get three signs from one craft also really nice so I just kill the zombie and I'm I'm thinking about just leaving all my stuff in a chest and going to get the rest of the stuff from the outpost but that's boring right so I need to build something whilst I wait for my for my mega base because like instead of it being like last two seasons where I just find the spot where I want to build my base and then I just like start building it immediately. Um, I'm not actually smart this time because in the last two seasons I actually built my base near a village. There is no village near this place. Now, if you look at the mini map, there's nothing. Like it's like you can't really see much like of the biomes that can spawn a village because it's only like a little bit of plains. But I can assure you, there's no village nearby. I've checked. So I'll craft a new helmet because my one broke. Nice. How, do I, how does the helmet always break first? Like, even if it's the last arm piece you craft, you have all your other arm pieces, apart from your boots, for the whole time. And they still, like, manage to last longer than the helmet. After killing the creeper, put the cumbalda, and my flesh in the chest, and then I put my bed down. So, yeah. And then I just destroy a bunch of these because these are extremely annoying. And what I didn't know at this point is how many you get. Like, these stack on, like, one block, like sea pickles or candles. You can place, like, a lot in one block, and it makes it be like really annoying. So yeah my mum walked in whilst I was recording that. But they're really annoying because you can't like replace them like you can with grass. They're like flowers. They literally are flowers. Except you can stack several of them in one block and it makes them so annoying because they fill up so much space. Like I barely broke any. I just broke that small amount around here. Like I was actually saying this two before my audio broke um it's literally it's like it's so annoying it's the worst 
takes up so much inventory, like so much storage space for just a small area. It's really, really annoying. I literally hate it with my entire life. So yeah, it's just kind of true. So I'm just going to hold the microphone normally now. I uh, don't know why I wasn't doing this before, and I was holding it in its tripod for some reason, because I'm just like an idiot. So, yeah. So I just decided to use water to try and clear out from this area. <clears throat> it didn't really work well. Not for my storage space, at least. It cleared out a lot of area. But it also, like, cleared out so many of my free storage spots in my chest so after a bit of time i finished my my like the outline of my starter house i'm making the outline out of fences for some reason i don't know why i did it but well i guess it works still use it like i don't really understand why i did this it looks looks really weird Especially right now, that it's not built up. It looks really weird. But I guess it works, so nothing to complain about. Kill the creeper, get some gunpowder, you know. Gotta clear out some mobs. <clears throat> and there's gonna be a lot of mobs, I don't know why, but I think it's on hard mode or on normal mode at least. Because I do not ever remember being able to, like, fight this many mobs in one Minecraft world. I don't think there's ever been this many mobs. Apart from that one time when I was playing Sunflower Fields on normal mode on my phone, like, three years ago. And there were, like, seven billion mobs. And they were all just murdering me. I don't know why, but Sunflower Fields, whenever I play it. Sunflower fields always got all the mobs, apart from this time, it, I guess. I guess it's not got it this time. Got no arrows because I put them in the chest. Not very smart, is it? Can't hit the skeleton. I can't aim. Okay, so, <clears throat> so we're building, we're finishing up the house. We'll start a house. And we got it almost done, so I'm not going to have a roof in this house, something I decided. And I guess the floor is going to stay as grass for now. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I really don't know what I was thinking when I was building this. It was like a good idea to do this or something. It very much was not. This looks really weird. It does not look, like, it does not look great. And... Now I'm just going to go to the outpost, the village outpost that I left earlier, and I'm just going to grab everything, including the chest, because I need a chest. I do really scuff the water bucket clutch, because I have to go back and pick up the thing after. So I delete the outpost home, and that works. So, yeah. So I found this cave, right, and I see the, like, wood in there, and I see the chains, so I, I know that it's a mine shaft. And this cave is, like, it's a really good cave, even if there was no mine shaft or anything. And that's, like, a, it would be a really good cave if there was ores in it, which there kind of wasn't. It was just iron. But I kind of do need a lot of iron, because I have, like, none at this point. I have, like, one piece of iron. I walk forwards down into this part of the cave, so I'm like, I'm just questioning why I did that. I have no clue why I did that. I place that water, and I fall down. I try to place blocks, but it's too late because you can't place blocks on air. So I just swim up here, fall into this hole, swim up here, place the water, and this time, instead of falling down, all the way to the bottom, I just get the water and go up. I should probably be taking that redstone because I should be using it. And I kind of need to get some more iron, which I wasn't doing. And not yet, at least. Because I'm dumb. 
then there's this amethyst geode. So I just go through the cobwebs because I don't want my sword to break because it's like half durability, right? And it's sharp to iron, so that's a that's a sharp one diamond sword. That's a good sword. For this stage in the game. I haven't like gotten any enchants yet, apart from the stuff that I found in the bastion. So I don't know what I'm doing at this point. I just used the mini map and I'm like, hmm, yes, this will help me. Spoiler alert, it does not help me at all. So that's like not really smart, is it? So I go up here, instead of getting the dripstone, I decide to just go to the mine shaft. I can't aim, so it takes me like seven attempts to get that water placed. And then I cheat using the mini map and to find caves. And then I just find these. Mending book. That's gonna be very useful. And it's just true. And then like I just say mending found in the chat. And then someone is probably about to say that they sell mending. And I'm then going to say that I have zero money because I have no money. Yes, I definitely didn't know that this was going to happen. Hmm, I wonder how I could have known. Almost like I recorded this a few days ago. And I don't remember much, but that's like one of the few things that I do remember. I have no clue what I was doing here. I was like just making a weird cobblestone thing or something. I know. So I'm just sitting there while some burning in lava. I'm not very smart. But... So I just say you should add quests and then I get ghosted by literally every single modern admin on the server. I don't know why. Quite sad. So I get the gold, obviously ignore a bunch of iron that I'm going to need in the future. Like, I'll need it so much, but like, I just won't use it ever. And it's so annoying. Because I'm like, stupid. So I set a home here, because I think that I'm going to come back there after I finish with the minecraft, because there's no way I'm going to find it after. Lock that off. With gravel. By accident. Because uh, when there's floating gravel, you have to mine it. That's just one of the rules. When there's floating sand or gravel, you always have to mine it. Every single time. And then I see this on the minimap, and then I just dig up. Proof minimap equals x-ray? Question mark. It kind of does, but it's not going to show you the ore, so it's more like a cave x-ray. I have two goat horns. At some point, I'm going to throw one of them out. I know because I did this myself and I don't have two goat horns, I only have one. Okay, so it's been like ages now, right? Because I just don't know what else to do. So, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. I just RTP out to a random area because that's what RCP does. It randomly teleports you to a random place. Mind-blowing. So I'm just killing a bunch of sheep in F5 because I need food and I need wool. So yeah, I just start burning them and then I, I just set them on fire and then I hit them with the axe, you know. So I go over here. I press F3 to see what biome I'm in because, you know, I kind of need to see, like, if this is a Jagged Peaks or a Snowy Peaks or if this is a biome that will have an ancient city in it. And sure enough, it is. So I start digging down. And then I keep digging down to hopefully find an ancient city right below this mountain. And I'm just standing there for some reason. I don't actually know what I'm doing, what I was doing, I just stood still swapping between my off hand and main hand for like a second. 
It was, it was really stupid. Lots of things for like an eternity. I dig into a cave. So I just grab some of the iron that was in it and then the gold. And then I see this. Some skulk. And then I see the ancient city. So I know that it's a good thing because I'm about to get some good stuff from here, won't I? And yeah, so I just start going down here. I ended up being at the worst spot imaginable, at the very centre of the ancient city where there are zero chests. I don't know why I'm shifting because like it doesn't matter because I'm on a wall at that point. So after I'm shifting I'd start running around here. Don't know what I'm doing. So it looks like someone's already been here right because of the random cold deep slate. So I just mine up some wool because you know they don't want to like die. Like sh shriekers and the warden, which would be how I die to shriekers, the warden, because the shriekers and the warden. I just jumped down there. So I mine through here, through the wall, and then I mine through this deep slate, these deep slate bricks and stuff. And then I go really slowly, and then I go slightly faster. Place some wool on there so that there are no shriekers that activate. Um, looking around for more diamonds, because obviously that's what you have to do. So, yeah. I see a shrieker over there, but then I also see a chest over there, and I'm thinking about how to get to it. So I just water bucket clutch down there and hope that the shrieker doesn't get activated. And it doesn't, because I don't have the the darkness effect, so that's good. You no know, wardens all spawn yet. So a shrieker goes off here, but since it's the first time, it doesn't matter, so it won't go off again so i just go in here and i turn off darkness pulsing to make it just be much further away and so that i can see better and i can actually see so i actually start with the shrieker again and i just mine this chest and i just grab everything so i try to leave but that's i'm pretty sure that's about to spawn a warden So I got up this ladder thinking that there could be a chest up here, but this is the wrong place. This is not the chest tower. This is just a tower to get up somewhere. And I see this packed ice, which I don't usually see. And then the other shriek goes off. So, like, you know, that just means 
the the warden spawning, so I set a home because I know that I'm about to die. But now that I set my home, I know that I shouldn't really care if I die anymore because I can just come back here whenever I want, as long as I don't delete the home. And that's how homes work. So I mine those diamonds, and then I go over here. I see the shrieker, but I just mine it because it's just going to be annoying, won't it? So I go down here somewhere at some point. I so just break these note blocks because they're going to be annoying. Break those pressure plates because I want them or something. I don't know. And then I mine in through here because this seems very unnatural. Then I see the like blue ice and packed ice and regular ice and stuff. And then I just see a chest full of this stuff. We had a suspicious stew. Spoiler alert, it's going to be blindness. It's a blindness stew. So I go to the warden home. So that's nice. I mine this shrieker so that the idiot can't get me. And I just throw a snowball over there to try and distract him. Which kind of doesn't work. So I just spam a bunch of snowballs over there. Try and get him distracted. So I go over here. So what I'm looking for here is swift sneak. A pair of swift sneak diamond leggings or just a swift sneak book and for some reason i have my pickaxe in my offhand no clue why but i do so i'm just up here because i saw a chest here earlier so i just start towering up nope there's carpet now i start towering up after breaking the carpet oh well nope there's no chest here there's a chest over there so i know what i have to do i start building over speed bridging obviously because i'm better with player and then I get a god apple, ward armor trim, glow berries, infinity book, like a hoe, I get a hoe, I get some skulk, I get another music disc, get some ice, I get like the mending diamond hoe, I get a saddle, it's like really really cool, I get quite a lot of cool stuff from here. And at this point I eat the stew, which just gives me blindness. Because I'm hoping that it's because it's random, probably. I don't actually know. I think it's random. I was just hoping that, like, it would do something. I don't know. So, the warden Sonic booms me. He booms me right there. So I go back there after I die. My leggings broke. My <clears throat> my leggings broke. My chest plate is about to break. I don't have enough iron to do like anything because it's really stupid or something I know so yeah for some reason it looks like it's not saving in my thingy because I don't know what's happening but something's happening so I just start crossbowing the warden and then I'm about to die so let's go over here I try to dodge him, but it doesn't work. And after this, I just lose all my XP, but it doesn't matter. I didn't have much in the first place because I didn't actually go to the spot that I needed to, which is the slash warp end farm. So after someone joins for the first time, some people say, welcome to Cape, um, Cape Craft. They tell him what to do. And then I put out a bunch of this weird blue fire, which looks really weird. Because of the tech pack I'm using, which is Type Fault uh, Revamp 1.20.1, which is the version I'm on, obviously. So I break through this and then come up here. I do a really weird water bucket clutch, which makes literally no sense because the water didn't even appear. Like you couldn't even see it. And then I get a better hose, so. I put it in there, get a bunch of really cool stuff. So I'm desperately trying to get it before the warden comes in and tries to murder me. I get a chest inside of the chest, 
there is a literal warden right next to me. So um, I just start drifting at it. And then I crit it and then I die instantly. Makes sense. My chest plate is still about to break. Somehow it's not broken yet. So I'm thinking about putting some stuff in all my chests. There's like, yeah, I need to. Crushed ending. But see you next time. Goodbye. See you next time.